Well, well. Seems you've finally come around. I believe congratulations are in order. You've officially passed the compatibility exam and are now ready to begin your life anew as a synthester. Now, now, try to stay calm. You did sign the contract, didn't you? Let's have a look at it, shall we? Pertaining to the experiments and business affairs of the organization, the signee... Ah, that's you. ...does hereby agree to faithfully and willfully cooperate and participate in all assigned activities without objection. As compensation, the organization agrees to remit rare and valuable character goods, figurines and books per the signee's wishes. Really, they're rather shady terms. It's a wonder you'd ever endorse such a document. <laughs> Well now, aren't we feisty? A healthy attitude, though, for what lies ahead. Either way, fortune has smiled upon you today, as you are the only one for whom this experiment succeeded. You, more than any other, overflow with desire. Your attachment to physical objects is stronger than I've ever seen before. The others simply couldn't measure up. They were failures and were thus asked to leave. There to exist as the hunted, you see. <laughs> no need to look so concerned. Perhaps I should tell you a bit more about the sinister. Synthesters are chosen beings. Superhumans who exceed ordinary humans in terms of motor reflexes and raw strength alike. To fulfill their own desires, they exert a truly unfathomable power. One could even say their potential is downright infinite. There is a catch, however. They have a certain weakness to the light of the sun. It's their Achilles heel. You could almost think of them as man-made vampires, though without the unfortunate thirst for blood, of course. Everyone else in the room has undergone this same metamorphosis into a chosen being. They are the same as you. You came for a job, no? Well, that's all I want from you. I need some part-time help, and you newly born synthesters are just the ones to provide it. Oh, it's nothing like what you're thinking, I'm sure. It's a simple job, something anyone can do, really. You're to attack the people wandering the streets of Akira and absorb their life energy. Don't worry, it won't kill them. 
I simply wish to borrow that which gives them the will to carry on from day to day. Simply drain their life energy and bring it back to us and your job will be complete. And of course you will be handsomely rewarded for your efforts. As much as you'd like will be yours for the taking. It takes an iron will to remain so oblivious under such dire circumstances. But I have no need for a minion who can't even comprehend the gravity of his situation. You two, get him out of here. Take him somewhere the sun shines. Then dispose of him in the Conda River or some such place. Yes, my master. May your slumber be restful forevermore. <laughs>